What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. We're back to work on the 2022 Brutale 1000 RR. This Brutale is a very, very special bike and I just felt like I wasn't doing it justice with some of the parts I was putting on it. So I picked up some insane billet aluminum parts for the Brutale, starting with this black full billet aluminum custom lower triple tree. This piece is absolutely gorgeous and it's gonna match so well with that frame. So let's open up the rest and install them. Our first billet aluminum piece in, the yoke or the lower triple tree. Something I noticed, if you ever get into an accident and crack off one of these outside pieces, you can simply bolt a new section in instead of having to get a whole new lower triple. Now it was pretty tough installing that piece because it did not come with a lower bearing and I have no tools here at the shop to press a bearing on this long steering stem. So I put the bearing on the new lower triple as far as it could go and then I tightened this top steering stem bolt, which in turn pressed on the lower fitting. And I couldn't figure out a way to get these dust shields off or this old bearing. So I took the dust shield from the top side of the steering stem and moved it to the bottom because it is way more permanent down here. And then we tightened our top handlebars and the steering stem bolt all together. And now it's one piece. Now I'm waiting to tighten this bolt because we have to align our fork tubes in the top of the triple and the bottom of the triple perfectly before we tighten anything down. Definitely a tougher piece to install, but man, does it look good. Now onto these rear billet aluminum suspension components.
All right, the rest of our billet components are installed. Lower triple tree, suspension link, even got this wishbone in here. We installed these special spacers into these side frame pieces. Man, it is on there perfect. And we can't forget this lower piece that bolts to the swing arm that the bottom of the shock mounts to. Here's what's left of the components we removed. And the last two components are for the master cylinders. On the OEM master cylinders, the mirrors bolt directly into the cylinder as there is a screw spot. But since we're running these Brembo 17 RCS and the 16 RCS master cylinders, Cylinders, we need to get a special piece to relocate the mirrors. Let's throw these in real quick. Well, never mind. These will not work. Back to the drawing board. I have something very exciting to show you guys. We are going back to Gold Forks. Well guys, I am very happy to say we have our gold forks coming back. Now, there's a major problem. Now, if you take a look down these forks, you'll see that there are no bearings on the middle or the bottom edge. And this is a direct OEM match to my forks from MV. Now, if you take a look at my old ones, you'll see that there is a bearing all the way in the middle there. And then we have a bearing right at the bottom of this fork tube. Side by side, you can see the silver has it, gold does not. Now, it looks to be a pressed in split bearing. I have no idea how I'm supposed to install that, especially in the middle of this tube. And that is the major dilemma we are running into these new outer fork tubes, but hey, we got the gold back. And we got a set of new OEM Olin seals for these new tubes. And real quick, I'll show you why this is a problem. See how it moves around? Then if we put this in the other one, it is a perfect fit with that bearing. So we cannot even assemble our forks unless we get those bearings. SBK Tech Suspension, they help me find the outer fork tubes for my MV forks. Now, like I showed you guys earlier, you can only buy the whole fork assembly from MV. You can't get it in pieces. But SBK showed me a little trick on the back of these Olin's forks. There's an etched in number. Mine is FL907. Now that etched in number is the OEM part code for these Olin's forks on Olin's website. And from Olin's website, you can buy every individual individual piece. Big shout out to SBK. They taught me some very valuable information. 10 minutes later, just did some research. These actually are called bushings, not bearings. That's my fault. And apparently they're pretty easy to install with the rest of the seals. On the new fork, there's a lip at the bottom there. So when you slide on the new bushing, it stops right at that lip and sits in the groove. Time to find some bushings. 10 minutes later, we just found two sets of bushings, not bearings, and we ordered them from AF1 Racing. They're Olin's and they're a direct fit with these forks. Then we will be able to put it all together. We are not wasting any time we got new fuel injectors that we're going to try with our fuel rail let's put it all together
Now that we have our aftermarket injectors installed along with the harness and the fuel line, let's install this air box onto the throttle bodies. Well, we got our brand new bushings from AF1 Racing. As you can see, the part numbers for the upper bushing match exactly what the Olin's PDF manual calls for, for the bushing upper and the bushing lower. And as you can see, they're a different diameter. One is thinner, one is thicker. The lower is thicker, the upper is thinner and a little bit smaller in diameter. Now with some lubricant on the outside of these, I have to slide them all the way up these tubes. And for the uppers, I have to get them all the way down there, which I'm not sure how, but we're gonna give it a shot. That went way smoother than I would have ever imagined. Now let's assemble the rest of these forks.
where we are currently at, this three quarter wrench is holding this spring back on the nut for the inside of this tube so that we're able to thread on the top cap. But I'll admit it, I messed up these top caps pretty badly when I was first disassembling. There are socket marks all along that nice blue cap and the inside of this connector is broken off as well as that ring on the top of this fork from my socket, which just looks terrible. And the other cap actually has damage from when it wrecked and it has those terrible socket marks on it from when I disassembled it. So I have a package to open and show you guys that I purchased almost a year ago. It's been hiding in the corner. We'll move this out of the way. It's a heavy box. During my whole fork charade, when I was trying to figure out what to do with these forks when I didn't want to buy a brand new one for 3,500 bucks, I did some research and figured out that MV Agusta's F4RR back in the day has the same exact forks as the Brutale. gold forks. So these forks are off a 2018 MV Agusta F4RR. They are the same exact electronics all in suspension, except for they have a light blue top cap instead of my dark blue top cap. And they also run a different triple, different steering stem for the F4, obviously, but it's the same exact forks. Now, of course, these are damaged. I think the right side is actually perfect other than a few scratches, but the outer tube on this left side is all damaged up, but the inner tube is actually in perfect condition and they are not bent. So I got these for a smoke and sweet deal. So let's pop the top caps off of these and swap them over. Finally, our gold forks are back. You guys were right. Man, that looks way better than the silver. And just so we're clear, I also got rid of these silver forks for another reason. And that's because when I applied the purple power, the anodization actually ate part of the aluminum and it was leaking because the seals were no longer a tight fit. But yeah, that gold looks way better. Now, yes, you guys are right. I did not fill these forks with fork oil just yet. I am still looking for the milliliters specifications for these forks from Olin's. But it is already getting pretty late. So that's gonna be all for tonight, guys. We will catch you in the next one. See ya.